Yo, I'm literally minding my business. I'm like, damn, that was a crazy ending. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. putting my Putting stuff away, all my camera stuff, my tripod, ah, ah, ah. And boom, comes out fucking Summers. I said, oh, shit. Yo, what is good, fam? Welcome to episode 75, boy. 75. That's, that's a little milestone, man. The whole three quarters. That's crazy. That's, a, that's kind of a milestone, man. I'm happy to be here, man. Always, bro. For sure, you know man. Saying? John in the building. Yang and yang in this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Episode 75. We here. Very interesting one. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Pull the all nighter. So that's crazy. Lethargic AF. Yeah. After this, you gotta. In the system. Uh, Definitely gotta hit them Z's, man. But bro, yeah. for sure, editing all throughout the night Tweet. because I had a lot to edit. A lot to edit, boy. We could start off this episode <laughs> we, we, yeah. with Box Fest, man. Yeah, man, we have to shout out, big shout out yes. to the Box Boys, man. You guys are definitely on your on your A game. You guys inspired me for, for sure. sure, big time. Inspire us, Geo. Yeah, yeah, big time, here. big time, big time, man. You and, guys uh, to sell out Irving Plaza. That's that's Fire. big ups, man. Yeah. Live Nation. People do babies all right. People do market hotel. It's, yeah. it's tough it's, to This do. is bigger than all right, though. We yeah. outside, man. Yeah, man. Sell out Irving Plaza. It's awesome. Amazing achievement. Shout out to you guys. Congratulations, I remember bro. first interviewing them on the on the vlog. Remember that? At the first New oh, York Oh, yeah. Show? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yes. Damn, and We kind of like just bumped into them. Time and flies. And made it happen. And yeah. to see where they're at now. Big time, man. And uh, Homicide did not headline then. They headlined now. This time. Yep. Tell and us the line. That lineup, was definitely man. interesting. We had Homicide Gang. We had Matt Ox, Sid Shine, uh, 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 Four Five, Highway Two Thousand Five. That was a sp- special guest. Highway Nineteen Ninety Two. Two Thousand Nine. Uh, uh, who am I missing though? Um, oh, of course, Summers. Summers. <laughs> Osa Mason. Uh, Osa Mason. Yes, I didn't. I didn't mention him. But a lot of people yeah. were f- dying to see him, bro. We interviewed some fans, and a lot of people were excited yeah. to see him. I was excited. I was most excited for Summers, bro. And I was, and I ain't gonna lie. You know, I be talking shit, saying his music is dookie, booty <laughs> meat. You know what I'm saying? But live, I got, you nah. know, shit's different when it's live, bro. Summers, orig- Summers tape in 2001 and uh, and uh, Fallen Raven. Mm. Yeah, I remember bro. when you when that came out, you was you bro, was on that, that tape shit heavy. Was fire, bro. Yeah, you was on and, that tape uh, heavy. He came. Let's start. Let's start at the beginning. Right, let's four start five. off. Let's start let's off. Start four, five, four five. In my opinion, I felt as if four five opening was crazy. Like he should not have opened. He should have at least been after Matt Ox or and Sid Sean. I feel like four five is is definitely up there. He probably had the litter set. It's it's debatable. Really? Yeah. For those little ten minutes that they gave him. That shit was lit, boy. Lit. Matt Ox probably didn't open because he's got that veteran stamp. The, does the veteran stamp outweigh, like I guess, uh, litness? I don't. Maybe. The past the maybe. Test? I mean, it's like if you had like a, I don't know, who's somebody like. Hmm, maybe if you had like Ugly God, for example, right? Should he be in the middle, even though he's or a Lil Xan? That's a good example. I guess you could argue it this way, like he, st- st- like basically set the tone. You know what I'm saying? Like he right away, ba- like a, that's like a banger opener. You know what yeah, I mean? Like to start sure. the show. You got, you get what yeah. I mean? Shout but out to four or five. Yeah, his nah, he killed. Last that. year has been crazy. Yeah, bro. OD. That shout out to insane. his team too, because they know how to market that dude, bro. They got nah, the uh, sure. they got the uh, like Discord. They got the uh, Instagram shit. It's like a you could join like a server on Instagram. He has, a, sure. he has like a thousand members in there. Shout out to Heiko. Shout out to you for sending me the ticket. He sent me a ticket for the show. That's hard. Shout out to you, bro. I definitely appreciate you, bro. You're a fire DJ, too. He had that shit going crazy. Um, okay. Yeah, they did their thing, man. So shout out to 4 5. And his outfit was lit, too. That old white shit, I fuck with it. That shit <laughs> I was think hard. that shit is cool. Uh, Matt, o- well, who was after him? Matt Ox. Was it Matt Ox? Yeah, yeah. Matt Ox, I feel like at first, the, the crowd was like, yeah, let me go get a drink. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> went down. I mean, for me, I went to get a little drink, you know, a little two of them things. And it was like, yo, bro, there was this dude, shout out to you. He had a whole Tito's bottle with the bar shit on it. Oh, yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah, yo. The, tip, the thing, yeah. He's like, yo, yo, don't tell nobody, bro. He swindled I guess it? he did. That's crazy. Bro, so me and Lennon's like, yo, 
We're landing like, yo, bro, 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 bro let me <laughs> get some of that. Bro, he was That's giving crazy. us shots. It was crazy, bro. Shout out to you, boy. So, but like after like a few songs though, everybody started like really turning up for Matt Ox, and that was pretty lit. That that X song he got, classic. What I really wanted classic. to see. Which I actually, I'll admit, I missed 4-5 set. I missed Matt Ox set. Okay. I had my own situations going on. And uh, I, w- I, really, I really wanted to say Osa Mason or Osama Son, however you say I, it. I, it's Osama Son. Because I and said Osa Mason and I do next week. Bro, watch your mouth. Say it right, bro. I was like, damn. <laughs> my, my, my bad. bad. <laughs> my bad. Damn. Yo, um, he was turned up for Yo, sure. Yo, when he came out, it's funny. I was telling him off camera. Cause I be talking shit like this music's ass. So then when he, when there was when I knew he was gonna come out, <laughs> I recorded myself like. <laughs> but when he came out and that crowd was stupid lit, I was like, "What the fuck? <laughs> okay, all right." I gotta admit that shit was turned, boy. He had that shit, but I don't know. I feel like they kept messing up his mic. I don't know if that was Irving's Plaza that, that situation. That was a reoccurring theme, not necessarily the mic. Because they did say sound the DJs. check. Bo- Box Boys kept posting like they did. Everybody did sound check. The DJs, oh, yeah, they kind of they were up, horrible. Man. Yeah, the beat drops. I don't know if it was the same for a few artists mm-hmm. or like different. Yo, know, the DJing was horrible. Yeah, the beat drops were a little weird. Uh, sometimes his mic would get a little cut off, like here and there. That was weird, but nah. Shout out to the crowd though, because. I'm not gonna lie. Going into it, I was like, "Hmm." I felt. I personally felt as if the lineup last year was a little was a little better, in my opinion. But you know, they still turned it up. It was definitely way more lit than I kind of expected. Before we move on from Osama Mason, that's how you say it. Osama son. Osama son. Okay. (laughs) Did the did the reaction of the crowd and the litness convince you to like let me go back into the catalog? Nah. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I just. Because, like, watching the footage, yeah, it's super lit, but I just don't see myself. You know what? I'll say this. I don't, I'm not as blunt as he is. I don't say he sucks. <laughs> I, eh. But yeah. what I will say is I'm looking forward to growth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The music right now that's out, like, I've tried multiple times. <laughs> I want to get it. I yeah, wanna, trust I'm me, I definitely want to get it. Like, But it, it's just something about the quality that, like, it's just. <sighs> it's too muddy to it's me. It's like. Too much going yeah. on for me. I don't know. It's like noise diarrhea. I don't have. To <laughs> <laughs> but that's not. To I guess it's the attention it's like, span or something. I don't know fuck, what it fuck is. Do I know? You know yeah, I don't know. It look, for me, it's like a. It's like you. You already have a a, a dinner plate, and you just throw in a bunch of spices. Right, right, right. It's like you just leave it out. I don't know. But uh, who was after? I think Sid Shine was it. Sid Shine or was it that special guest? Uh, Sid Shine was next. I, uh, I was at the highway. Who had the white shirt? That was highway. Highway. Yes. Highway. And then Sid Shine had the I highway look. came out, and I was looking forward to seeing what you know yeah. what was up. I personally had no idea who that was when he came out. I had no idea. You know, I always get Highway 2009 and Hard Rock confused. Confused. Really? I used to like all of last year up until like yesterday no up until that <laughs> up until show this morning i went to like two weeks ago yeah. for hard rock he's like oh that's what hard rock like, looked oh, like oh okay yeah and hard rock was incredible like, i feel like hard rock kind of looks like nardo wick a little bit okay my tweet. okay okay, right? okay. I don't know. Nah, nah, he, a little fake, bit fake 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 uh, <laughs> fake fake yeah, the oh. as far as Highway 2009 set though, it was high. The DJ, like me and the engineer people, like the lighting people, or whatever. Yeah. we were right next to each other, and we were looking at each other like, "Yo, shit ain't him, bro." It, from up there, you can hear it clearly how bad the DJ was. Wow, I know in the crowd, like the speakers are right in front of y'all, but like, well, because he kept like dropping the B at the wrong time. You'll you'll shit. hear it in my vlog, which I would love for it to drop today. Yeah, if my computer can just function properly yeah, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> yo you'll hear it in my vlog like the amount of mishaps on highway shit and summers damn like it was bad interesting was, yeah so then uh Sid um, shine yeah Sid shine he had the i love jesus hoodie i thought that was pretty cool that yeah, <laughs> yeah that yeah. was hard yeah, it's good to see some you know yeah, it's rare to praise see stuff to, like that. praise the god in this i don't know if it's know? a sarcastic thing or he actually means it but 
he still is that was Sunshine is a great performer. I'll say this. Great performer. His symbol or his his little uh Cause it's like a gem yeah. on the on the on the flyer is yeah. a cross. So you good there. Is it upside down or is it not? No, it's a cross. Ah, it's a cross. Ah. <laughs> um but uh, yeah, like two people stage dove during his set. That was fire. fire it ain't yeah. easy to do that at Irving Plaza because it's a decent gap. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying. So uh, shout out to y'all. Shout out to 270. I was right there for that, too. Shout out to 270, man. He did a whole front flip during 4-5. <laughs> shout out 175. Definitely man. got balls for that. But, yeah, Sishine did his thing as usual. He's definitely a great – you can't go wrong, I feel like, with Sishine. He's always going to give you that energy. He definitely has good stage presence, I will say. I personally don't listen to him like that, but maybe I should. I don't listen to him either, but I do know – that he's an amazing performer. Yeah, nah, he definitely like he gets his all. Yeah, no cap. And and the crowd knows that. Like, oh shit, is this shine coming on? Yeah, we gonna turn the shit up. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. So, uh, who was after him? Was it Summers? Summers. I think it was Summers. Yeah, yo, when Summers came out, boy. <clears throat> Boy, Swing your fucking dun, dun, dun. Oh, Yeah, so bro. I could barely hard. move where I was at. I was just like, swing your fucking ball. I was like trying to get it. But I'm like getting <laughs> oh, oh, oh shit. Open that shit up. But now nah, yeah, we were going crazy for that. That was I don't know if you saw the footage of how it looked on stage when he came out. Yeah, I, bro. I, you remember my Yeet vlog? Hard. It's just like that. Yeah. Hard, bro. Come yeah, on, that man. was hard. His set was definitely fire. Uh, I don't know how many. That song he did with Autumn was hard too. Live, that was hard. That song that he has. Yeah, with Autumn? he played uh, "Back to the Basics." He played. Uh, you know more than me. The Twin Uzi I, shit. I only yeah. know one song. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I don't. I don't listen to him. Like Obviously, that. like "Swing That Pole" was my. You think he, you think that song should be last for him, or it's okay to be first? It's okay to come out. It's it's like with Ye and uh, I think he did talk. Because what what would you say is Summer's biggest song? Uh, what's Damn, his most man. popular song? You know what I mean. Cellular. What's Summer's biggest track? Man? No, not Summer of the Season. Just can't. Just can't. Is that song hard? Am I sleeping? That song. Mom hard. calling me and shit. That song is hard. Did he yeah, play Summer that? Do you know if he played amazing. that? Let Let me end it. Let me end uh, Summer set with this. It was his first time performing in New York. Yeah, and he's mentioned that, and he mentioned that. And bro, that's. That's a hell of an accomplishment because he was on House Arrest. Where's he from, like, by the way? Do you I know? I think he's from Atlanta, I honestly don't know. Dallas, New Orleans, who knows? Okay, okay. But uh, he, he uh, it was a good show for him, man. It was a good show. I, I wish his DJ was better, but. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah, so Homicide Gang, lit, headline, came out. I, I was fortunate enough to be in the photo pit for like two three songs that song uh what is it lifestyle is that bro i was right there you know how the barricade has the steps so you can stand on oh <sighs> once i once i heard that i'm a side bro I, I showed the crowd man that shit went <laughs> crazy bro did you ever go in the photo pit that's what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. I, yeah. I, I, At I was, one point, I was, I was like, right next to you. Talking about? Oh, word? Yeah, yeah, but you was doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? Facts, facts, going in. Yeah. I was the only one in the photo pit with a phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody got <laughs> cameras and little. shit. Fuck out of here. I mean, even the guy, like the security guy, he he was, he was kept like looking at me to see if I was like a like A, a random? Fan. <laughs> yeah, he kept looking at it. Like, oh, all right, all right, you doing? But yeah, Homicide Gang, man, they did their thing. They honestly, before that whole shit happened, they performed for like, I don't know. Twenty minutes. They like. I feel like the show was gonna end. Yo, two I don't know who, who it was that performed before they came out. That they did one song. I oh guess he's yeah, a part of yeah, yeah. Who was that? He was tweaking during their set, diving into the crowd, oh, fucking up the boxes. Is that the dude, that was like, yo, facts, facts. Like throwing like, the box. Yo, that was cool. Okay, that was, I ain't okay. gonna lie. Yes, yes, that was fire. I don't know who that was, but that was fire. But yeah, um, we got we got to talk about the elephant in the room, man. Yeah, man. We got to talk about it, man. So, Shit. my man, Summers, man. Solo Dolo. It's Mr. Solo Dolo. My boy Dolo. was Solo Dolo, man. Unfortunately, man. In New York, no security. In my opinion, it's not smart, man. It's not smart. Growing pains, man. He... he <sighs> He he's smart to get to where he's at, bro. Yeah, not for sure. Sometimes I mean, you know, 
We slip up like a, I got I, I got to give it to him though, man. You know, he got his he Yo, got jump, boy. Let's, first things first. Let's let's My get boy. this out of the way. He's a soldier. <laughs> He's a soldier. Yo. What was he standing on though? Uh, business. Listen. Oh, business. Yeah, I see what he you was mean. standing on mean. business. He's standing on business. But uh, sure. I gotta give it to him. That's what I personally. Wh- whether right or wrong, he handled his own. As far as there was like fifteen heads on him, and respect to him, he took it for sure. You he wasn't. He wasn't. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't trying to get hold. Whatever the hell went down, he wasn't yeah. having it. Clearly. Yeah, man. Clearly, <laughs> got I, his I ass beat. Hope, I respect it. I just hope for whichever parties were involved like you know the bigger picture is seen and by all means we're all grown men if we feel disrespected in any type of way by all means yeah pop off but as far as like having something to lose like i feel like everybody in that room has something to lose and you know hopefully it's it's something that could be tucked under the rug you know what i'm saying because yeah a lot of stuff like that becomes further than oh absolutely what we I wanted mean, we to already be, you seeing know threats saying? we are his brothers out here threatening everybody and shit yeah i just i'm just glad there was no guns that went off and we do, you know be honest. There, there's there's hints at what happened but the only people that know what happened are summers and the people that he was involved with for sure you know upstairs in that in that green room you yeah. know so uh i'm not even gonna say who he supposedly fought mm-hmm. you know we don't know if it's everybody saying the homi- homicide gang they put up a post saying we don't promote violence so it has nothing <laughs> to do with us and i'm gonna believe it okay like it, you okay. know what i'm saying i mean shit because i ain't I... accusing nobody of no Word. nothing bro wow, now i feel that at the end of the day that's not up for us so yeah. um, I, just, I just feel like the, the egos man the egos gotta stop bro you gotta drop the egos man yeah, man. I'm sure all that shit is just about ego, and I feel like as grown men, like this, this type of shit only happens at rap shows. Unfortunately, it was at Irving Plaza too, which had the Troy Ave incident a few years ago. Where, One thing I really yeah. want to say, I definitely feel bad for the Box Boys for that. As that was going yeah. down, yeah, absolutely, that was the first thing I thought about. Not yeah. about oh who's getting beat up. I thought about Box Boys. I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want that, bro. I know they say good. any any publicity is good publicity. And, yeah, everybody's talking about box boys. I'm sure they're probably gaining all type of, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's tagging them. Everybody is, you know, uh, they're probably gaining followers as all this shit's going down. But it's just not good press. It's not a good look. It's it's very unfortunate, bro. I know that's the last thing they were Yeah, and they were, we were going to mention this at the beginning. They were going to pull up to the pod and, you know, show love and whatnot and, uh, respect to them they f- they felt that you know right now is not the best time to pull yeah, up yeah, we I had it planned it. for a while and they said we're gonna reschedule man so you guys can expect them for sure uh, to pull up and tell their side and stuff yeah. but and i don't think this is gonna i'm sure there's they're still gonna do a, a box fest in new york but of course how of course. are they gonna do go by it is probably now like now. venues need to be careful you, like that that's how venues think like this incident happened with that's what i'm promoter. saying that's why i felt so, bad because it's like oh ooh, they I'm, don't deserve that you yeah, know what i'm yeah, saying yeah. it's like ooh. i guess maybe just i guess be careful just, with who you book with know. all parties involved with whoever threw it whoever was involved in the in the ruckus you know what i'm saying i think it's a lesson learned bro mm. there's a lesson learned in this that one we all, we all have something to lose oh yeah you know we you know, Always. I don't know what type of what level of disrespect happened in that room, because it wasn't pre. It, there was no premature heat. There was none, absolutely none. Mm. So, either somebody said something a little too slick, or somebody might have felt disrespected. There was a miscommunication, yeah. and I feel like as men, you know, we can come to a resolve. Hopefully, I mean, once fifteen people come at you, it's hard to you know yeah. even think that way. But yeah, no, nah, I get it. So we'll see. Yeah, Hopefully, man. nothing, no, no violence happens after this between the, the the camps. Whatever the hell happens, bro, I don't know. It was it was crazy, bro. It was 
you know, at, at one point you're gonna see you're gonna see a bunch of videos out coming out, but at one point he hops into the crowd and he tries to get out. Yeah. And like he went up the stairs. Yeah, I so saw I recorded this on my and Bro, that stairs led right to where yo, I'm literally minding my business. I'm like, damn, that was a crazy ending. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, putting yeah. my putting stuff away, all my camera stuff, my tripod, ah ah ah. And boom, comes out fucking summers. I said, Oh shit. And is this a room? Or you just nah nah it's it's literally upstairs. Oh the balcony by the bar type yeah. shit. Okay, so what happened? So basically, and then Box Boys was there too, and I was already talking to uh, Box Boys and this other gentleman. Yeah yeah. I think he was like the agent of, in that moment. Yeah yeah. Okay. And um, and some I guess Summers just needed some time to cool off, especially with you know the art the artist entrance and exit is only one way. So, you know, he was hot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, I, like we said before, he was a soldier. He took, <laughs> he took his his looks like a champ. Mm-hmm. And um, so he came at up that to point, you or you came up to him? Huh? Did you go to him or he came to you? Well, at he box box fest and whatnot. They came to to our area okay. and he was there too. Oh, all right, all right. So, you know, I guess they was trying to like game plan or something because. You know, once 15 people are after you, you know, you're not dumb. Like, no, you're not pussy, but you're not dumb. You're mm-hmm. not just going to walk out where they walked out. So let's 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 cool off. Mm-hmm. Let's chill out. Let's wait. And uh, honestly, it came to a point where we're like, yo, he needs to have a driver. Like, where's your driver? Ah, ah, ah. And nobody was, like, answering the question. Mm. So I was just like, yo, <laughs> is your driver pulling up? now or is it like what's yes going no. on yeah, yeah, and yeah. i don't know what was going on with the communication with his driver or whatever but long story short i ended up having to take summers to his location bro when john to- <laughs> when, when john texted me last night because after the show ended i called you and you didn't pick up i'm texting you yo yo fuck there was just, a lot going I was on like, yeah i'm gonna just go home I was, I was gonna try to say bye and shit and he texted me like Maybe an hour and whatever later, he's like, just drove Summers. I'm like, wait, what? And, and mind wait, you, wait, what? I have no context <laughs> as to laughing. who he fought or anything yeah, like that. Yeah. So I'm just trying to do a good deed and like. I wish there was a I was a fly in the room, bro, in that car ride, bro. Nah, <laughs> yeah, I'm too grown to be like, yo, I got Summers in my fucking car. <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, like, yo, on, just bro. drove Summers. I'm like, yo, you want se- you so- you a security? But I'm guy, glad boy. he was able to cool off. You know what I'm saying? Like, th- that's a crazy. Like, I couldn't imagine how heated I would be if I got jumped by that yeah, many people, man, bro. Especially, and you know, it's going viral. Yeah, yeah that was I, that was a conversation in in the car. Like, like, but you know, we was just trying to focus on like, you know, <laughs> nigga, you you stood you stood ten toes. <laughs> Like when you when you it. dropped him off, like he how like how'd you say bye? Like he was he thankful? Like he appreciated it type shit? Like well, we waited um, in, in the area where that we was at for like five minutes for his car that was supposed to come. Yeah, pulled he up. He came to the hotel. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. All and right. then you know, man, what a night, boy. He, you know, he was thankful and shit. And should have asked for a follow. Any any of this should have asked for a follow. Clout, t- clout token. <laughs> you should have asked for a follow. Like, yo, boy, follow your boy. I ain't driving you, boy. Nah. Nah, God <laughs> works his, his ways, yeah, I know. bro. I was just talking shit. I was just saying that, too. In the car as I'm driving, I'm like, yo, I got Summers in my whip. And we 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 talk about him positively and and you a little more sternly. But, <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's crazy how, like, shit happen. like that, just, that, man, that happened. Like, I know, I know, I know. That's the probably the yeah. last thing you expected to do that night. And he was hot in the car, bro. He was tight. And, you know, fuck, fuck my advice. But I was more so like, yo, make a song out of this, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, f- fuck all the violent shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck all the internet shit. Like, get get some bread out of it. Why not? You know what I'm saying? But instead... But as far as the grand. parties involved... Like, yo, if you had a, a bone to pick, to pick that bone, bro. I ain't going to stop nobody from kicking <laughs> nobody's ass <laughs> and vice versa. So, like, yeah, yeah, you know, if you had to handle your shit, you handled your shit. Standing on beating it. So, yeah, that's Box Fest, basically, <laughs> in a nutshell, in a box. You feel me? <laughs> so, switching gears, you know what I'm saying? We going to talk about this little 
Trippy Red EP, which my mans did not listen to yet. I get it. You're busy. You're doing shit. But my man dropped a little seven song EP, which, you know, we love that shit. We hate bloated projects. We appreciate the little. I think every song on there is good, like at least good. There's not one song that I skipped. The last track. I wonder how that happens, though. What? How do you go from a bloated project to like something so concise and everything hits? Like, how? Who's maybe the? Does he have help picking the songs on this one? Or mm, that's like, a good question. I'm not too sure because I feel like. How does that happen, bro? You know? <laughs> bro, I don't know, but I mean, hey, this shit hard. It's named after his kid. So his kid's name is St. Michael White, right? Yes. And that's a, the name of the project. It's called uh, St. Michael, right? Yeah, St. Michael. Hard album cover, too. Yeah, It's yep, like yep. animated. I fuck with it. And this whole project is on some... Um, the beat not made from Cash, not from YouTube, whatever that shit was. Cash Cool, man. All the beats is that. So cause oh, I know really? you haven't heard. Yeah, this whole tape is on some sexy drill shit. Wow. I fuck with it, bro. It's hard. I usually don't fuck with shit like that, but it's hard, bro. I'll just play like a couple of seconds. You know this sample? Ah! You okay. know this sample? <laughs> Tell me if you know where this is from. Where's this from? It's a classic song. I used to think about Oh, wait. This was the beginning of... Um, what song? What song? Lil Wayne's shit. Uh, well, he freestyled the ah, original song. Ah, ah, da -da 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 -da. Stop analyzing type shit, something. but this is yeah, but that was a sample of another song. Mm. That's the rich boys throw some D. The rich boy throw some D's, boy. What you know about that? Throw, throw some, some D's, D's on, on it. So, on that, it. so look, look, look. Ooh. Wait till that beat drop. Hold on, hold on. I bumped that shit real quick. We can edit this. Hold on, wait till the beat come in. Huh. Right here. Mm. Oh, right? Yo, Trippy on this. Trippy he on that. I fuck with it. So I say that to say he made a post, which he deleted, by the way, as to why he canceled his tour. So it's like a video post, like a couple slides. He's like, first of all, I want to address why I canceled the tour because I've been getting a lot of comments, DMs, y'all talking down on me, this and that. But what if I told you is that I'm a dad? What if I told you like my uh, my son was born? My seed has. You know been what I'm saying? So planted. all right, I get it. You know, you know. What, what do I know? I don't have a kid, so I feel like I guess. But I feel like would that even happen if if any rapper had a kid? Would a whole can tour get canceled? Like, is that a thing? I guess it just doesn't happen often. But you think that's a valid excuse, in your opinion? To cancel a whole tour. If that's something that he wants to prioritize, and yeah, do I believe it? Not really. Mm. <laughs> do I believe he can't? The tour was canceled because of <laughs> you him? don't believe that's cap. That's cap. <laughs> like I don't know, bro. It's it's a good excuse. I'll say that. You know what? It's hard and to I argue. I love with it. I love Ulti Five, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, wish yeah. he did. I wish he did the tour so we can hear some tracks off of that Tell and me about it. mansion music. Tell me about it, bro. But and so it's, what's crazy is that this kid is not even from his shorty, bro. Sky Morales, <laughs> he's an idiot. You're an idiot, fam. Are you kidding me? You have it all. You know what I'm saying, like, bro. She she could sing. She's talented. I don't understand, bro. Because I went on her Instagram, I'm thinking, oh, then maybe she posted the kid too type shit. Definitely not. She over here posting a screenshot of a of a fan that DM'd her saying, oh, uh, you know, keep your head up. Like, you're, you're a strong woman, this and that. So I guess that whole breakup shit, I thought it was just promo for a love letter to you. Maybe he really did cheat on her, his dumb ass. Hey, I don't judge, shout out man. to you for having a kid, but you're an idiot, in my opinion. Your life, if man. If that was some one it. night stand shit, bro, you crazy, boy. Father of the year. Father of the year, fam. But anyways, Shout that's that's trippy. the trippy shit, you know what I'm saying? But next, we got to talk about them Grammys, though. Grammy, nah. Grammys, Let's bro. Let's get it. Grammys. Let's get it. Yo, I've been listening to a lot of Ronald number nine and L.A. Capone. Just <laughs> side note. What you know about L.A. Capone, boy? 
Me and my bro went to the store, got 50 cent cakes. So, so, in my opinion, this list for best rap song is terrible. And obviously, we all know the Grammys is always notorious for bullshit. Run down the list, run down the list. We got Doja Cat, Attention. Attention. That's how, uh, that's how it goes. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, Attention. Come on, yeah, attention. That's the real attention. Shout out to Jaleel, bro. And I'm glad. I hope you're doing better, man. I hope you're healing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I spoke to him yesterday. He's bro, I hope good. bro, tell me how <laughs> tell me how Lourdes thought that that was makeup. I thought it was makeup, too, because it was she around was like, Halloween. Oh, that's a cool Halloween costume. And I was like, facts. no, look at this clip. And I saw the video. I was like, oh. oof. So, anyway, shout out to Jaleel. You're a Superman. You are definitely different. You are a different breed. So anyways, attention Doja Cat. I never heard that song. Next we got <laughs> Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice, Barbie World. I can understand that. I get it. The highest selling movie of almost all time. This was a little strange to me because it's a little old at this point. Just Wanna Rock by Uzi. It's a little old at this point. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a smash hit. Arguably his biggest song of all time. Probably more streams than Exo Toy Life, but... I'm I don't know. It's a little old. Song. It's yeah. Next we have Rich Flex, Drake and Twenty One, and in my opinion, that's not even the best song on that project. It's not. That's not even top five to me. It's cool. I skip it every time. Me too. Yeah. I hear it on accident. Like I don't even have to hear it to, you yeah. know, have to press it to hear it. And then last but not least, I, this is crazy, but not really because this is this technically wise, like musically, this is an amazing song. But when you think of best rap song category, you think of popularity. This song is the opposite of popular. It's called Scientists and Engineers by Killer Mike, where Andre 3000, Future, and Aaron Allen Kane. I don't know who that is, but that song is amazing. I don't know if you heard that song. Mad good. Andre 3000, bruh, violated that shit. Amazing verse. But best rap song? I wonder who's beef. <laughs> who's Oscar Maya? You slurped to be on that category because we got another category with him in it. Best rap album, uh, uh, Her Loss, great album, right? Uh, King's Disease 3, shout out to Nas, man. Another Grammy nomination, shout out to you. 50 years old, 30 years in the game. That's very impressive. Damn. King's Disease 1 won a Grammy. Uh, and then we got that Michael by Killer Mike. Like I said, I don't know whose ballpark <laughs> you <laughs> gargling on, but shout out to you. I heard. I feel like. Every year the Grammys has, has somebody like, like that type, yeah, like to appease to the real I wonder how much the of the decision fans. making is like, like sold, and the rest is like actual, like I guess numbers. Right. And I'm not trying or to say actual curated lists. Right, like right, right. these are our favorites. Like, and trust me, I'm not trying to shit on this project because I know Killer Mike. Yo, he's very talented, lyrical as fuck. But like, come on. <laughs> If anything, last year Denzel Curry should have been nominated for a Grammy. If Killer Mike is up there, I'm just saying. Then we got the three, the two heavy hitters, which is absolutely gonna be the the two to probably win this. Okay. Metro Boomin and Metro, Utopia. Metro, Metro. Metro Boomin and Utopia, fam. Mm. That's that's tough, especially for me, because like I said, Utopia has grown on me like crazy. Both amazing projects. I really don't know who's going to win that shit. If whoever wins, I'm not going to be upset. I'm going to say Metro. Ooh. Metro Boomin it. wants some more? Metro deserves it. Travis But also deserve Travis it? does deserve it too because he didn't win it for Astro World. That's what a lot of the comments were saying. Like, yo, give him, give him what won. he deserved, bro. Bro, they, he should have won for Astro World because clearly. <laughs> Without clearly. A invasion of privacy. Album. Invasion of my cat, cause that shit should uh, not have won, bro. Yo, wow, you seen the clip of Travis when? No, uh, uh, yeah, for he sure. He was like, "The yeah. winner is invasion of privacy." <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> imagine all left, that. Right? Yeah, imagine all that work he put in for Astro World. Damn, not imagine win. getting invited and all dressed up. Just yeah, for the looser invasion of my cock, bro. That's crazy, bro. Anyways, we have best album, like not even rap, right? In general, album of the year, we got Miley Cyrus, <laughs> John Batiste, <laughs> we got the record by Bo Boy Genius. I heard of him. Alana Del Rey, 
couple more actually. This she eight. got a song of the year too. Uh, Taylor Swift. That's an old album though. Uh, Janelle Monae, The Age of Pleasure. Olivia Rodrigo, who is obviously one of the biggest industry plants I've ever seen in my life. And SZA for SOS. SZA, man. I hope SZA wins so bad. So not one rap album is for album of the year. Just saying. Not that it has to be, but I'm just just an observation. SZA. Where the fuck is Let's Star here, though? Yeah. Why is that not any nomination? That's the elephant in the That's room. That's the elephant in the room, man. Because not, not even just that. Lil Yachty. Let's start here. Was this not Lil Yachty's year? Should be nominated for a Grammy. Any type of song from there. It could have. It could have been the singles, bro. Strike. Come on. That could easily be a nominee for song of the year, in my opinion. Shit, Poland Say is something. not even that good, but that shit went viral. Fuck Poland, bro. I don't like it either. <laughs> I don't like it either, like that. But hey, it, it was. Well, hold on. Yeah, this is moment. This is what we gotta talk about. Hold on. Hold on. You thought I was done real quick? The on is being held. Hold on, hold on. Where the hell is it? Damn, I had it. Wait, wait. But yeah, Lil Yachty deserved a Grammy wait, wait, wait. nomination because he transformed his, his whole year, man. career. Slide. He did a whole two chains on us. <sighs> you remember Two Chains Titty Boy? Hell and then yeah. he came out as two my chains. boy, bro, my boy Yachty blew up twice. Alright, so we got this is what this was what blows my mind. Best melodic rap performance. So there's two there's two categories. There's best rap performance and then there's best rap melodic performance. I don't know why they have these two categories. It makes no sense. For the A boogie. You should just have best TJs. rap performance. Why is there best rap melodic performance? Because rap sounds like lyrical spherical sprinkle on my pinkle. Oh, uh, yeah, I get Okay, all right, all right, my bad. I get it now. I get it now. So, for best melodic rap performance, we got yes. Burna Boy and J. Cole sitting on top of the world. You heard that track? We got Doja Cat again, attention. SZA, which is not even rap. <laughs> Wait, but For the song, song, this is best rap melodic. Oh, song? Oh, low? Mm, I don't know. <sighs> Spin Bout You. Drake and 21 Savage, random album cut. Yeah, random. That is. And random. then we got All My good Life, song, Dirk and Cole. All that is a, that is a good song, though. Come on. All My Life. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck my wife. <laughs> I can see that winning. I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, Shout out to Lil Dirk, man. Got a, if it's, he wins this, I never would have expected Dirk to ever win a Grammy. No, facts. So that is a big deal. You got to go for cheap key. You know what I'm saying? So and then, Let me just say, yeah, All My Life is yeah. an interesting song because it's such a endearing and like hopeful song. But it's it a makes triumphant. me so sad. Why? It's like a funeral song, bro, in really? my opinion. Yeah. Why? Because I can hear All My Life being played at a funeral, bro. It's like a super somber ass inspiration. Right, song. yeah. It's like a triumphant, like like a... It's like tears of joy kind of thing. You type feel like? shit, okay, but it, okay. it just reminds me of like death. I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, all right. Oh my! And life. then last but not least, we got best rap performance, which is Rich Flex. We got Coil Ray for players. Shout out to Coil. We got Black Thought for Love Letter. I never heard it. Shout out to Black Thought. And then we got Killer Mike again. Special the. Andre 3000 track, and then the Hillbillies with Baby Keem and Kendrick hold on, Lamar. Hold on, let me just say this. Baby Keem and Kendrick better win that. Where is Say Something? Yo, shout out to Koi fucking Lorraine. Okay, okay. People love to shit on her. Talk your shit. She, she talented as is fuck. talented as fuck, Great bro. performer. She's like the female The Rock in rap. Like, she could do <laughs> everything, bro. Yeah, low key. She can act, she can cook, she can dance, she can sing, she, she can, can twerk. rap, she can write. She can twerk and she a twig. That's Damn. crazy. She's an amazing <laughs> person. I mean that in a respectful bro, way. Bro, I know it sounds crazy, but I'm so happy for her and yeah. she deserves it, bro. Nah, hell yeah, bro. Like that, and that song was a for smash. Because for a good year or so, she was getting her shit clowned, boy. Und <laughs> no, undeservingly. Like, Not every performance, sure. everybody was shitting on her. Oh, man, crowd dead. But she was yeah. go giving her all every time. And 
you know, I, I got access to a lot of her early music because I got to work with her early. So I know so many songs the growth that is I crazy. actually bumped and liked. Mm -hmm. And you that's put me on, on top to a lot of new music of, that she's dropping. You put me on to a lot of older songs, and they're pretty good. For like sure. that little mixtape she had with the black eyes. Shut she up. got that Baby Don't Hurt Me song. It's like a remake of the original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that shit hard, too. That shit gets All right, man, me. let's get into these hot tizzies real quick, man. Hot tizzies. How much time we got left? I bet we in here. We outside, boy. You ready? We're inside. All right. So, my man said, Homicide has more bangers than Summers. I personally don't listen to any of them, so that's on you. I, I like usually about two to three songs on each Homicide project, and I like the majority of Fallen Raven. And I like one or two P and P and G, uh, <laughs> uh, plug and B songs. Mm. So they're about even for me. I think they're nice. both super talented in their own ways. Okay, okay. My man said, "Summers has more clones than Cardi." Reno, the reason a lot of kids download F FL, FL Free Studio. Loops, got on plug and B, and he started waves and fashion statements. Cardi just copied Uno. Yeah, I mean, people have been uh, saying that for so long, but uh, he started maybe a whole he genre, did. Really, I mean, P and B Rock was a little bit involved with that too, but yeah, Plug and B, Autumn, Summers, like we know who really stamped it. Word, I respect it. I just wish I was more like there from the beginning to really see. I was a little late to that Plug and B shit. You hey, put YouTube, me on to what YouTube that even put meant. me on. Yeah. It, so. I had no idea what that was till you mentioned it. I was like, plug and beat. The fuck is that? Plug. Uh, at concert shows, the center stage should strictly be performers, DJs, and venue security. No one else. Should be checkpoints in place to make sure no one gets through. The crowd safety is priority. Plus, performers don't even have enough room to move and make their performances. It makes their performances lackluster overall. That's hard to say because probably saying that because of what happened last night at boxes but there's people that have certain responsibilities like the the what do they call it cameraman the cameraman that's one but more importantly the Sta like the stage like the tour manager mm. the stage manager like there's certain people on an artist's team that has to be on the stage and then of course you have your the homies you have the henchmen and shit you have the lackeys. Well, <laughs> I want to tell you, but. speaking of that, uh, <coughs> on the On The Radar podcast, Box Boys was saying how they, they yes, wanted they to did. start, like, we, we they appreciated the underground feel of having a million people on stage, it's but they're so trying annoying. to... They're trying to make it a little more professional because now they're with Live Nation and trying to just focus on the artists. So that's interesting how, you know, that didn't really happen. Yeah, did it? It did, yeah. With Sid Shine for sure. No, nah, you're right. No, what am I talking yeah, about? All I'm them, just thinking yeah. of with Homicide Gang. Homicide Gang just had Probably the a only bunch one. of motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Four or five, it was literally just him and his DJ. Facts. Pretty much, yeah. So you're right. But uh, let's see. Uh, a big reason why people feel that hip-hop is dying is because all the new artists who were bringing something different and really changing the game has died. X, Juice, Pop Smoke would have been the next top three when it comes to the new generation. We don't have any new artists that hold a connection with their fans the way that they did. R.I.P. to all three of them. Maybe give it to some time, bro. There's so many artists coming out that are inspired by those people. Yeah. And we've gotten some gems, bro. We've gotten Yeet, yeah. Fago's Hard. Ken. Ken. Lone. Like, we've gotten, we've, <laughs> <For> <laughs> we've sure. gotten new artists. For me, Lancey, even though he's been making music, but Lancey's, for me, it's a new And let's DC not forget, Dark. Ken is new. Lone is new. Yeet is new. Yeah, yeah, they've been popping for, like, two years now. Yeah, Tana, Fago. Bro, do you understand, like, with artist development, like, some people don't get to drop their real album until, oh, like, that's what, five, that's the point you're trying in. to make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give them some time type shit. But I think, well, yeah. The thing is, though, I get where he's coming from because, like, with Uzi, all the, they they were already up as soon as they came out type shit. Nah, you know? for sure. I mean, I mean of mean, course they have shitty music <clears throat> in the beginning, we, beginning. Uzi took about a year and a half, two years to get to, to that, his sound, you know, that sound. verse uh, with Ferg. 
and uh, and uh, yeah. I just five two or ten. Right, right. I just finished. It was two about two years that he was. You get up. You know, bow, working. Bow. Yeah, for sure. You know. Yeah, yeah. I feel that. Yeah, just give us some time, wait, wait, kid. Can we think of some newer artists like in in multiple, I guess, rapping styles? Like, is there a new rapper that's spitting? Like rap, like lyrical. Yeah. New rapper. I don't seek it, so I don't. I don't know, bro. That's a good one. Benny the Butcher's new. This is my. This is my yeah. point. Just in totality. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. We need to stop complaining about music dying, or oh, it's not the same. Oh, the new class sucks. Yeah, bro. There's something for everybody. At no point am I bored in my whip. <laughs> at no point at no point and I listen to new music yeah I listen to Tana I yeah. listen to fucking Lancey Foe yeah 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 and Jaleel whoever else yeah. Jaleel come on like, yeah Tweegan and Geegan Denzel know. Curry another yeah. one like Joey Badass like not necessarily new but yeah. like there's still lyrical rappers that you can get shit out of Mick Jenkins stop fucking playing <laughs> who Mick Jenkins McDonald's oh this motherfucker <laughs> next we got uh, They're gonna H- get you in the comments because they know who Mick Jenkins is. H2O had is the best rapper in the world. <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck is that? H2O had? <laughs> That's the worst name ever. H2O had? <laughs> Yo, what do you think? Hold on, real quick. What is the worst? Rap name you've ever heard in your life? I've ever heard. <laughs> like, why? It's fucking terrible. Okay, I must tell a uh, funny story. 10 cell phones. You- <laughs> 12 cell phones. Whatever, <laughs> whatever his name is. <laughs> Yo, so you remember 106 and Park used to have those rap battles? <laughs> yeah. And, like, fucking random ass dudes used to, like, judge them. It'd be like, I, I don't even remember, Roscoe Dash and shit. <laughs> and somebody from my high school, Brentwood High School. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was <laughs> Went his name? What was up his name? there, his his name was A Hood. That's my man's growing up. Okay, we kind of dr- d- drifted as we got older. He moved or whatever. Yeah, he went up there, and his opponent's name was a, a, a bug. I'm gonna say that a bug, An insect. What do you think? It Spider? Was? <laughs> Spider loke? Uh, <laughs> he said a bug, ladybug, snake. That's not a worm. Place. Worm. His name was <laughs> Lil Worm. And my man's a hood. My man, <laughs> my man's Augie lost. No way. I lost lose to a worm. Little worm boy. And Roscoe Dash gave Worm like a nine or some <laughs> shit. Like it was a slam dunk contest and shit. I was like, like it was D Wade. You gave him a nine instead of a ten. That's crazy. Bro, you remember on that same show, Blind Fury? Yeah, hell yeah. Shout out Blind Fury, boy. Gangster. He was the man. Shout out to Blind Fury. That's a throwback. Wow. Blind He's an Fury. alcoholic now. For real? He still raps. He'd be like. <laughs> My man says Sprite is better than Coca Cola. Facts. Yeah? Coca Cola's. Nah, that one is cold. That shit gross. You could. Not gross. Let me take. Let me take that back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if it's the only option, it I'm might be. You it's might like be right. Lay's chips. That's right. I said it. What in the in the variety pack of chips? Coca Cola is the Lay's chips. In you my mean opinion. like the yellow bag? Is that what you're referring to? The Rich variety Lays? pack of chips. The yellow bag of Lay's. Yeah. Oh, the yellow one is Coca Cola to you. Right. Damn, that's kind of a There's hot so, take. I'm not I don't even lie. really drink soda yeah, like know, that. But, yeah. but if I were were to, it'll be the raspberry. Schweppes. I feel like Coca Cola gives the best, like, ah, feel when it's Mac. <laughs> he said, Are you sure? I don't know, man. I'd much rather have Dr. Pepper, Root okay, Beer. Okay, nah, I'm not saying that. I, you were. Right. No. My man said, Osama, or Osama Sun, whatever, shouldn't have had that short ass set. He solos that entire lineup. First of all, take his cock out your mouth. Yo, please. Man is on a road because too. what? No, no. There's show respect to the other artists there, bro. Come on, fam. No way. Well, the the box boys did say the openers are ten fifteen minutes set. So, if I was 
if I had a bunch of songs I wanted to run through, I would go like a a minute thirty each song. Just like that's what I was fire. saying. On if some you, yeet shit. If they only giving you let's say ten minutes, boy, I'm playing ten tracks a minute each. No time. <laughs> Fuck that. Open that shit up. Run that shit. Keep going. Bro, no time to breathe. My man said Lone, World Fest. Lone is very underrated and in my opinion way more talented all the way around than Ken Yeet, Sofago, etc. More Maybe. talented overall than Yeet, Sofago, and Ken. He's definitely talented. I think he's better than Ken in terms of like artistry. But does talent and experimental capability like does that come with this? Because I think so. I think Yeet is way more experimental. Does that make mm. Yeet I don't more know, talented? Because they say that about X, like oh, just because he made different types of music doesn't mean it's good. They always they, a lot of X haters say that. Like, oh, bro, X was you know, – because I always say how he's mad diverse. He's probably the most diverse artist we've had. Bro, it doesn't mean it was good, though. Yeah, you can make a rock song. It doesn't mean it's good. And I'm just like, eh, I guess you got a point, but who else really tried to do what he did? Because they can't. That made me forget the take. Because they can't. What's the take? That he's underrated and he's more talented than Ken Yeet, Sofago, et cetera. <sighs> you don't give a fuck? Nah. <laughs> Alright, my man said Utopia was mid from day one. A rehash of the of some Kanye unreleased material and some boring beats with no structure and is not five years worth of hype. Also it was supposed to be a concept album, but ended up being an unstructured Yo, project. Who who did that take? Also, he fucking ruined future sounds. I don't know about that last part, but he literally went down or she down a list of reasons why I kind of waned off the project. I was pretty high on it in the beginning, but the replay value I think isn't it's really super there. Super high for me. It's really only modern jam. Um, my eyes is kind of like dying on me too. Uh, yeah, and the scissors song with with future telekinesis. It's amazing. I don't know. I love that whole shit. And I even love love. It's, it's so cringe at this point with with Drake like whispering in my ear. <laughs> I even like love with Kid Cudi. I love that shit. Y'all feel like that? I don't go back to him much. Y'all feel like that? How much time we got? I listen to Patek and Scene. Mm. <laughs> they better be in Box Fest soon, man. Uh, I think that's it, cuz. Shit. One more. Oh, that's funny. How you mentioned the... Oh, this one. Spicy, boy. Oh, the Lil Wayne one? Yeah, how you know? How you know, boy? <laughs> sneak peek. Bro, Lil Wayne's <laughs> best album is Free Wheezy. That's a spicy That take. is insanely hot. That's Cheetos. like holding on to the sidebars in a public bathroom. That's spicy. like, yeah, bro, yeah. I don't know, Red man. marks on your thighs type shit. When that came out, I remember it was only on Tidal. I had to, like, download a zip file. Nah. Yeah, Big no listen. to that I one. I think I listened to it. Once through. Nah. Sorry, kid. Speaking of Wayne, speaking of which, I bumped his. Yeah, six before something the Something before, before the. the doc, whatever. It's something called. before the six? What the was fix it? before the six. Six before the six? The fix before the oh, six. Oh, the fix. Before the dicks, yeah. <laughs> Bro, like 65, 70% of that album is hard as fuck. I know. I gotta go. I gotta listen. The to other it. ones, I don't the, believe. Trust it. me, the other ones are garbage. <laughs> but yo, there's one song that it reminds me of like DC to Don type yeah. shit. Okay. And then there's one song where he's like teach me how to jerk, like he's a new boy. Oh, all right. Nah, I'm kidding. Oh, I, I'm about to say it. I don't want <laughs> to listen to that. That's how hard. <laughs> nah. And then he had a Trill Sammy feature <laughs> and a motherfucking. <laughs> um, he had Chameleon Air on there, bro. Who else did he have? Young Jock. <laughs> nah, you can't had... forget Nilly Vanilli. <laughs> Who was, else was, did he have? Was what's her name on it? Who uh, was doing Carrie the drums? Hilson? Nick Cannon was doing the drums. Was Carrie Hilson on there? <laughs> she, she's him. Her and Wayne got a got I know, a. That's why vibe. I said that. That's why I said that. Hold on, though. One more. It's funny because we we you mentioned this before. Homicide Gang never making a project better than Falling Raven. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Why you looking at me? Cause that's what you kind of saying though, low key though. Fallen Raven's a good project, man. I gotta bump that shit. I heard two songs. It's got glow beats and it got some Drake beats 
towards the end and plug in BBs. Yeah. That's how I feel uh, about no that. No comment on uh, <laughs> the Fallen Raven and Homicide. Homicide. Well, yeah, man. That's episode 75. How you say that shit in Spanish again? Uh, uh, Sete y cinco. Setenta cinco. Right? Setenta cinco or some shit like that? I'm, I'm six is six. I'm dumb in a can. Sorry. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Oh. Oh, you don't speak Spanish, bro. You don't say. Give it up. You don't say, Papi Chulo, que lo que. <laughs> Episode siete cinco. Shout out to the box boys, man. Shout out to y'all. Yeah.